Hello, my name is David Lance, and I was thinking recently, you see, there's a new movie coming out in 2018, March of this year, that is. It's called A Wrinkle in Time, and it's actually based on the book A Wrinkle in Time by Madeleine Engel. It was the Newbery Award-winning book in 1963. It's the story of three children, Meg, uh, Calvin, and Charles Wallace, and how they have encounters with strangers who are literally not of this world. The children are recruited by three beings, Mrs. What's-It, Mrs. Witch, and Mrs. Who, to help find their father, a gifted scientist who is part of a cosmic fight against the forces of darkness. Together, they must uh, rescue Meg's father from the evil forces who hold him prisoner on a far distant planet. Now, uh, there was a made-for-television uh, movie that came out about the book in 2003. But you'd never know that one of the beings actually reads the book of Genesis to, Calvin, uh, to Charles Wallace in the book, or that uh, the book quotes from biblical scriptures such as uh, chapter 42 of Isaiah, uh, chapter 1 of John, and uh, chapter 1 of 1 Corinthians, or that it specifically mentions Jesus Christ. You see, um, uh, A Wrinkle in Time is not necessarily a Christian book, but it is a book that deals with Christian ideas and values. Now, the new movie uh, of A Wrinkle in Time that's coming out in March of 2018 stars, among others, people like Oprah Winfrey. Uh, now, uh, I have no idea what kind of worldview it's going to present or if it's going to talk about the Bible, but I have a couple of thoughts. First, have young readers, say fifth grade and, and up through, say, high school, uh, read through the book. Discuss the ideas that you find in the book with them. Can they identify the biblical ideas that are contained in there as well as scriptures that I've mentioned? When the movie comes out, watch it together. Talk about the worldview that is presented. Did the movie deal with the ideas uh, contained in scripture that's in the book? If so, how? If not, why do you think that might be? And whether or not you decide to lead kids in a conversation about the message of A Wrinkle in Time, the movie is going to come out. A world view will be presented. You can either help guide that conversation or not. Want to learn more about how to apply the wise jargon of God's holy word to the culture around us? Well, I have a free monthly newsletter called Conversations with the Culture that I use movies to talk about scripture. It's free for the asking. In the, video, in the YouTube video that you'll see, there's a, a link that I'll provide in the, in the comments section below. Well, thanks so much, and God bless.